Yeah, we just we, we've been playing now every year in the Center for Discovery, which is a, a facility for autistic children and adults in, in upstate New York. And we play an afternoon concert, which takes about almost one and a half hours. And the kids come and and they have no idea what we're doing. They they are, you know, they just come because they have concerts there every week. And the staff was again and again, like each time we come, they're so blown away about how the how the the kids and adults react actually not don't react they actually you know become peaceful and they don't have the exactly the stress and the outburst and the aggression or the restlessness that they often feel and and they said like they can never sit so so peaceful for an hour and a half usually you know and that's that's it's so nourishing and so reassuring that we really don't need to know you know anything about the science behind we really just can experience them and and then they do their job and no it's and, exactly right and I, that's how i would say if something is true it's just simply always true meaning your experience of it has to be true and i, I think it's you know it's unfortunate that we've leaned so heavily on science to prove our truths meaning we're not relying on our own experiences of you know the world or nature we're waiting for somebody to prove it in a laboratory, but I completely agree that the center, the Ayurvedic center that's being built here is being built in an environment basically saturated with mantras. It's um, in an environment where mantras are constantly, constantly being um, chanted um, throughout the day because we feel that the mantras themselves provide so much of the healing. So I, I agree with you 100%. Mm -hmm.